the cash in your pocket, the change in your car. It all starts its life in some of the most secure, high-tech facilities in America. But what if I told you that every bill, every coin, is a work of art, one that takes insane engineering, craftsmanship, and a touch of secrecy to create? Today, we're diving deep into how U.S. money is made, from cotton and copper to high-speed printing presses, covert security features, and a system designed to stay one step ahead of counterfeiters. So, grab a seat, because this is how money is born. Money in the U.S. begins its journey in one of two places, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing in Washington, D.C., or its western counterpart in Fort Worth, Texas. Combined, these two facilities print an estimated $541 million in currency every single day. But don't let the phrase paper money fool you. U.S. bills aren't paper at all. They're made from a special blend of 75% cotton and 25% linen, giving them that unique crisp feel you can recognize by touch. That material? It's made by one company, Crane Paper, which has had an exclusive contract since the 1800s. And no, you can't legally own it. Every bill is packed with high-level security features. Some you can see, some you can't. Here's what's hiding in your money. Red and blue security fibers randomly embedded in the material. A glowing security thread that lights up under ultraviolet light. Color shifting ink on numbers that changes depending on the angle. Watermarks, three-dimensional security ribbons, and microprinting so small, it's nearly invisible to the naked eye. And here's a cool trick. Hold up a $100 bill to the light. You'll see Benjamin Franklin on the front, but also hidden in a watermark and security thread. Pretty clever. Believe it or not, the design of each bill still starts by hand. Artists draw every element from the faces of presidents to tiny flourishes before engravers recreate the design using a tool called a pantograph. It's part art, part science, and it's incredibly detailed. Then comes the steel plate engraving process. These plates are chrome plated to handle extreme pressure during printing. It takes up to eight days to produce a single plate. Once finished, elements like portraits, borders, and text are transferred using a process called serography then used to create master dies that will print hundreds of identical plates. Now it's time to print. There are two major printing processes, offset printing. Think of this as the background art. It uses special magnetic ink to print full color designs on both sides at once. Intaglio printing. This is where you get the rich texture raised ink and fine detail. It uses high pressure to press the ink into the paper. That's why your bills feel the way they do. Each step uses different printers the size of buses, weighing up to 70 tons and churning out 10,000 sheets per hour. Fun fact, offset printing is skipped for $1 bills, which is why they feel different from other denominations. After printing, every 500 sheets are manually inspected. Nothing is left to chance. Once the ink dries, and that can take up to three days, each bill goes through a final stage. A letterpress machine adds the serial number, the Federal Reserve seal, the Treasury seal, and yes, even that shiny color-changing number on the bottom right. That color-shifting ink on the number? Yet another anti-counterfeit trick. Now it's time for the final check. Every sheet goes through a machine called the Offline Currency Inspection System, a combination of ultra-fast cameras and AI software that checks for any flaws on both sides of the bill. Faulty bills are flagged, pulled, and destroyed. The rest are cut down to exact dimensions, 6.14 by 2.61 inches, stacked into bricks, and packed into bundles of 4,000 notes. Finally, they're loaded onto armored trucks and sent to Federal Reserve Banks, where they can sit in vaults for years before eventually ending up in 
your wallet. Now, let's talk about coins, which are made by the U.S. Mint, not the Bureau of Engraving. Each penny is zinc coated in copper, quarters and dimes. They're made of copper nickel alloy. Long coils of metal are cut into discs called blanks, then heated to 950 degrees Fahrenheit, cleaned, and struck with massive dies at up to 160 tons of force. But here's the kicker. It costs 3.69 cents to make one penny. That's more than triple its face value. Compare that to a $100 bill, which costs just 16.5 cents to make. Some lawmakers are even questioning whether coins should stick around much longer. The U.S. Mint has faced controversy environmental lawsuits, accounting mistakes, and a rise in counterfeit coins from overseas. Meanwhile, the Secret Service is constantly on the lookout for fake cash. Yep, they don't just protect the president. So whether it's coins or bills, every dollar you spend is the product of a massive, carefully choreographed process designed to protect your money and your trust. If you made it this far, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and drop a comment. Did you learn something new about how money is made? Thanks for watching. And hey, next time you hold a $20 bill, maybe take a closer look.